Hey, Mike, so we know that the offense and defense were separate Wednesday, and then the defense wasn't out there Thursday. So his special teams practiced at all this week? We did some of uh, the specialist work. So the kicker, punter, snapper, they worked together as a group. No, we haven't. We've had some solid meetings, um, you know, gone over everything we need to normally go over on a Wednesday and Thursday. And, of course, this morning um, we've installed everything. And today I'll have some extra work. Coach has given me some time at after practice to do another 10 minute period. So we get all six phases taken care of today. Um, just how difficult is that from your perspective, trying to get these guys ready? You know, I think our guys have been really focused and have done a nice job all year long with these zoom meetings, like, like everybody in the league's doing. Um, I'm proud of the guys the way they've, uh, had that, that laser focus that we've talked about this week and that, you know, we needed to have, even if we did, if, even if we did practice, we needed to have that laser focus to go down to Jacksonville and beat this team. Um, so I'm proud of our guys, you know, ask them a lot of questions, um, go over the, you know, techniques and talk about the fundamentals that we've been doing all year anyway. So what we need to do today is have a good, clean, crisp practice, go through the game plan, make sure that no mental mistakes, go through the physical type things that we normally go through on a Friday. And then, you know, we got to go out and play and then I'll correct whatever mistakes we make today, tomorrow morning in the meeting and throughout the day tomorrow to get ready for Sunday. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Scott. We'll go to Mary Kay Cabot. Hey coach, um, obviously, uh, you know, you're going to be down some guys on, on teams. Uh, because of, of the guys that are out. Uh, so, you know, how are you adapting to that? And then just sort of, um, you know, has it made for a, a tense week with guys waiting around to see how the contact tracing is going to go? Uh, just sort of the uncertainty of it all. You know, I, I think our guys have done a really nice job. The guys we'll bring up on, from the practice squad are the guys that haven't been dressing every week. You know, they're ready to go. They're chomping at the bit. That, we got a great group, great group of young guys that are, that are prepared every week, whether they're on, on the uh, scout teams or the show teams or whether they're starting on one phase, two phases, four phases, whatever the case may be. Um, I, I think they're just they're, they're ready to roll. I think we just want to go out and practice today as a team and, and get around and run around and be a football team again as a full team and and then get on the plane tomorrow and go go win a game. And, and that's been the focus this week. And, and I'm really proud of the way the guys have handled that they've been on top of things in the meetings and um, and, and like I said, the mental part of it's been really, really good this week. So I'm looking forward to seeing these young guys play. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. Dan Lobby's up next. Hey, Coach. Um, th there was a video post game. Kevin Stefanski seemed to single out Jamie Gillen for, for kicking really well uh, on Sunday. Uh, can you speak to that a little bit? And then also just how has he progressed this season? You know, I thought he did a really nice job. It was very difficult conditions again on Sunday. And you know, the wind is one thing, but then you combine the uh, the rain, the, you know, it rain, as you guys know, it rained the whole game and no excuses, obviously, but Jamie did a great job. I, I thought he out punted the Philadelphia punter, who was, I think is a very good punter. He had, that was our focus going in. That was one of our main goals is Jamie out punt Cam Johnson. And I thought he did. And, you know, we pinned him inside the five, the one that set up the, uh, the safety, the sack by OV. Um, I thought he did a great job getting the ball out of there with really good hang time and the last punt with a minute and a half to go in the game. The situational punts were really, really good. We covered well. We protected extremely well. That was our best day as a punt team. I think we netted over 41. Maybe those aren't the greatest numbers in the world, but to me, it's not about the numbers. It's about the situations and progressed. I think he's progressed as an NFL punter in terms of those type of situations. Last year, we were talking about it yesterday when we, were, uh, we did some field goals out here with just a specialist uh, yesterday afternoon when we were allowed to come in the building. Um, we talked about it and how last year we had a lot of really nice weather games. It'd be bad during the week and then really nice on Sundays. This year it's been exactly opposite. It's been really nice during the week and tough on Sundays. And I think he's grown as a, as a situational punter, as a bad weather punter, and that's exactly where he needs to be. And I think he's progressed well this year. Thanks. Thank you, Dan. Jeff Shadell will go to you. Hey, Mike, I want to ask you about Donovan Peoples-Jones. Is he a confident returner, or how would you how would you categorize that? I think he's become more confident as the year as the year has gone on. Um, you saw the kickoff return after safety. I thought he did a phenomenal job. Not many teams crossed the fifty on that play, and and you know he about ten of those yards were on his own. He made a guy miss, and then he ran over a guy, and then he broke another, you know broke that tackle, and as he fell forward, he got an extra four or five yards. So, and that gave him a lot of confidence. I think the more he has success, the more confident he will be. Obviously the more confident he is, the harder he's going to run. He keeps protecting the ball like he, like he has, and he would be better. Uh, Cause I've been on him about that obviously all year long, but you know, I think again, the more, 
the more experience he gets, the more confidence he gets, the better returner he's going to be. Thank you, Jeff. Marla Reidenauer has our next question. Yeah, um, Coach, just with kickoff returns is, I mean, you used the earnest a couple times. Are, are you Is that still up in the air or? I, I think it, it's, again, it's, you know, how, how we practice today will be important, uh, how he catches the kick, uh, kickoffs. You know, he and Donovan are always in competition. I think I make that an open competition every week to let the best man win. And, you know, we haven't had that practice time to figure that out this week. But, you know, I thought the Ernest did a nice job made. He got missed on the first one and got out to the, what, the 25-26. And then the second one, we didn't block it up very well. They did exactly what we thought they were going to do on coverage. And, you know, we let a guy come free. That just can't happen. So today's big focus will be, you know, A, making sure that, you know, Jacksonville's kickoff team doesn't have any free runners. And we're going to make sure that we count it up right and, and block it up correctly and and that whoever the returner is will give them an opportunity to get rolling i know holidays are always weird in the nfl but did you even get to have a thanksgiving yesterday i did i did i had uh um, two of my children in town uh, michael and, and katie and i got to facetime wilson at the naval academy they're in lockdown mode unfortunately and my daughter samantha's out in denver so we got to spend time family either facetime or in person and of course like probably most of us on this call or at least uh Rob and I uh, ate way, way too much, but uh, it was a great Thanksgiving. We we'll have a lot to be thankful for. You know, we're playing, uh, we're coaching, uh, you know, we're employed. There's a lot of people who aren't in, in as good a shape as we're in. So we have a lot to be thankful for. And we thank God yesterday for those opportunities to do what we're doing. I, I'm with you on the eating too much. Thanks. <laughs> thank you, Marla. I'm sure there are several of us in that category. Our next question goes to Nate Ulrich. Hey, Mike, uh, Kevin Stefanski said the other day that Jacksonville might be the fastest group on special teams you guys play all year. I was wondering what you thought of that and how that factors into, you know, how you're preparing for them. Yeah, these guys, they're well coached. Uh, Coach D. Camillus has done a great job his entire entire career in the NFL. Uh, he's a gadget guy, and he's not just a gadget guy. They'll run reverses on kickoffs, on punts. They'll, they'll run punt fakes, field goal fakes. They'll... Uh, you know, they'll do all that stuff. And, and not only is he a gadget guy, but he's also a very sound football coach. So they're going to cover well. They're going to punt and cover well. They're going to protect well. Um, so, you know, we're not going to make any excuses. We're gonna, we've been covering it all week mentally. Now we just got to go out today and do, you know, cover those fakes and, and cover the gadgets and go over those sorts of things that we need to do to prepare for this team. But then they are fast. They have, they have a good group. Their uh, personnel people have done a nice job of, of uh, gathering a lot of good football players that, that can cover kicks, that can, you know, that do well. The, the, the one place they've struggled a little bit is that field goal kicker. I think they're on their fourth kicker, and Rosas will go this week because McLaughlin's on that COVID list. But, you know, Aldrich's had a great career with the Giants. I mean, two years ago, I think he went to the Pro Bowl. If not, he should have. He had a great year. Um, so across the board, they're really good. You know, Coach is right. They're, they're fast. They're strong. Uh, they'll play with reckless abandon. And, you know, we have to match and surpass that intensity and go out and help our team win. Thank you, Nate. Scott Patrick, back to you. Hey, Coach, what happened on that black field goal last week? The left end and the left tackle did a terrible job. They, their footwork was bad. Uh, they were soft. We got, we, you know, they swam that C gap. We knew exactly that's what Philly does. That's how they blocked the field goal a year ago. One of the field goals they blocked a year ago. Um, I was very disappointed in that play. It should never happen. And when you're watching the Jaguars, what did you think of that onside kick with the uh, receiver? With the receiver? I don't think the other receiver wants to do that again. If you saw the hit he took from Pittsburgh, I don't know if I'd want to do that kick anymore, but we'll be ready for it if they try it. I thought it was, it was interesting, but it's a way to get a guy hurt.